Masking can take a long time, but it's the bread and butter of every editor. So today I'm going to show you the best way to mask things inside of the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Intro. It's the beginning of the video. Now before I show you the free method, I thought it would be important to tell you about Magic Mask, which is DaVinci Resolve's built-in rotoscoping AI tool thingamabob. But it's only available in the studio version of Resolve, meaning you have to pay for this. So if you're on the fence, maybe studio is for you, but you can access it in both the fusion page and color page. However, I'm going to show you just in fusion, you bring up magic mask and then you just make a, a little squiggly line on what you're trying to mask. It's going to do its thing and rotoscope for you. And all you got to do now is just track forwards and backwards. <laughs> Now that's cool and all, but you didn't come here for that. You want to know the workaround. Well, the first thing we have to do is render our clip in place or whatever you're trying to rotoscope. So right click, render in place, and save it to somewhere you can easily find. What you can do now is go to a website called Runway ML. From here, you're going to create a new project and select green screen. Now you can drag and drop your video into Runway and get started. This is very similar to DaVinci, but instead of making a scribble, we're going to make some dots. And you just click around until this thing is all green. Well, I mean like the thing that you're trying to rotoscope is green. But once you have this thing all masked out, you can hit preview and check to make sure this thing looks all good. Yeah. So let's go to the top. Done masking. It's also good just to double check here because now that it's actually green, anything that we missed will stand out a little bit more. Now, if you got ahead of me, you probably went to export and saw that you can only export this in 720p, not 1080 unless you pay for their service. Don't worry. You don't have to upgrade. We can use this 720p version as a mat. I'll explain that later, but basically we're going to upscale this inside of DaVinci Resolve. So Export your video. Yeah, anyways, back in DaVinci, we got our runway clip here. So let's just drop this onto the timeline like so. And while we're at it, we're going to duplicate our original clip just by holding Alt and dragging it into video track number three. So let's highlight video track two and three, then right click new fusion clip, open up fusion. And um, we're going to relabel our media nodes real quick. At the top here, we have this little double rectangle box thingy. You hit that, brings up the first window. And if we select any of our media nodes and hit one on our keyboard, it brings it into that first window. Media in one, that's our runway clip. So what I'm gonna do is just relabel this runway. And that means media in two. Well, it's this video right here. So I'm gonna relabel this upscale. Okay, let's get rid of this green. To do that, we have to add a delta here in between our runway runway clip and our merge node. So if we select runway, we hit shift space and type in delta keyer, hey, it automatically gets added in. Now all you have to do is grab this eyedropper tool and then just place it on top of the green. But oh no, nothing happened. Well, that's because we're still viewing the runway clip. You see that right there? That's saying, hey, you're looking at window one. So let's bring the delta keyer in window one by hitting one. <laughs> I mentioned something called a map earlier. This is basically just a black and white image and it's an old school way of masking. If we go up here, we'll see these three circles. You just click that, bam, it shows you a black and white image. All of the dark parts of the image get removed and all of the bright parts stay. But these gray tones, those are transparent. So in our Delta here, if we go to matte, we can adjust the threshold, basically saying how bright an object is. So if we bring down this threshold, it makes the image brighter. And there we go. We fixed that issue. But let's just uncheck this matte setting. If we zoom in here, it might be a little bit of an edge. I missed this spot right here, but no worries. Yeah, there's a little bit of an edge here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but we can bring down the erode slash dilate just a little bit here. So like I said, we're going to use this as a matte. The blue arrow, that's for masks. And since we're using a mat as a mask, all we have to do is take the output of our Delta here and connect it to that blue arrow. Ba-bam! Also, if you're wondering why this is orange and not this yellow color, it's because the Delta here has a built-in green screen spill corrector. Anyways, it messes with the colors of things. So yeah. Also, let's just double check these edges, make sure they're good because this is in a low 
lower resolution, it might mess with the mat lines a little bit. So we can further adjust our road settings just a touch more. You see, we, we got rid of a little bit of haziness here. Also, if we zoom in, we're at 220% here. So let's go 220 over here. Look at that quality difference. Anyways, we can render this in place with a transparent background. So it's just like getting the 1080p clip from Runway. To do that, we're going to render in place. Leave the format on QuickTime, but change the codec from DNX HD to DNX HR and you're all good. If everything was done properly, you should have no changes to your stuff. But if we disable video track one, hey, hey now we can add whatever effects we want to this. Like, um, let's see. We go, let's go to effects. <laughs> Hey, bland it out. There we go. So that's the best way to mask things inside of the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord and either myself or one of the editing helpers can help you. If you want to support the channel, all you have to do is leave a like. But if you want to support in a more direct way, well, I set up YouTube memberships and you can get cool little badges, emotes, a special role in the Discord and shout out to my videos also i know it's inevitable people are going to ask about the planet out effect you can download this effect for free in the discord that's the end of the video goodbye